afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at beautiful Wrigley Field. Great day for a game. The sun is shining, birds are singing, and there's a breeze blowing in from left field. Well, the starting lineup's in about five minutes. <laughs> hey, Greg! Good to see you, my boy. Good to see you, Mr. Z. You got a seal there for me? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. <laughs> Day, the Lord rested and came to beautiful Wrigley Field to watch the Chicago Cubs play his own game on his own green grass under his own lights. Hey, is it? How's it going, Greg? Bye, Mr. D. Who you got today? Who do I got? Who do I got? Uh, excuse me, son. Why don't you get yourself a seat over there in the left field bleachers? They got nice seats over there. I've been sitting here for an hour. <laughs> You've been sitting there for an hour, but you see, that's my lucky seat. You're sitting in it, the Cubs are going to lose. It's only lucky if I'm sitting in it. So what? You paid your 12 bucks to get in? Unless you snuck in. I didn't sneak in, I got a ticket. Okay. All right, here, so look. Somewhere in this ballpark, you've got a lucky seat, too. Here's a, here's a buck. Why don't you go find me? <laughs>
You won't go all the way, watch. They're gonna have to bring in the bet man. How much you want to bet? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. take the field. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please rise as Gary Pressy leads us in our national anthem on the Lowry organ. Is that Lowry's got some organ? Come on, Beck, what do you say? Six to five? Pretty sick, Rich. He's a star spangled banner. <laughs> Jump 
that high. He would usually catch that good. A Jets is a good hitter, but that guy, oh, that was lucky. Next to that, are the Chicago Cubs, Mickey Marini. This guy will reach. He's a kid the Phillies. He can hit. I'm Margaret, I'll give you double or nothing. You're going to bet double or nothing. Just leave me alone, will you? I need your money, okay? Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> you watch. It's a sure thing. That's what we're going to think, right? It's a sure thing. It's a sure right? thing. Why don't you just hand him the money right now? I'll hand him your money. The money you lose to me. Right. Lock him. It's early yet, Steve. You know, you got to watch these guys for a few innings first. You know, get a feel for the game. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> the wind. The wind was blowing in there. The wind didn't blow it out of here with a home run. Sure thing. Yeah, sure thing, huh? I was sure. Next player, Mark Morris. All right. G-R-A-C-E. Find out what it means to me. Hey, Steve. Let me tell you something, huh? The next time you want to get in on a reach, no reach bet, don't offer even money. It's not a good bet. The best of these guys gets only on three times out of ten. Marv, are you telling me how to bet? He's like, the man's taking your money, you should listen to him. How long have you been coming here, Marv? I've been coming here. I've been coming here for 30 years. 30 years! And you're gonna tell me how to bet? Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. That was a really dumb bet, right? Oh, that's what I need. I need this schmuck here telling me it's a dumb bet. I need putts here sitting in front of me. Why don't you go sit somewhere else? I don't need this. Who are you going to say, don't ever talk to me again? Hey, Richie, why don't you get me a beer, huh? What are you talking about, Mark? I have to stay here and keep score. Right, Jack? He's right, Mark. Can't let the official scorekeeper leave and to go get a discriminant beer. All right, full count. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh, 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 We'll get you next inning. They hit the ball a good three times and they didn't get any hits. Yeah, but they got this style of mine figured out now. Next inning, they're going to get 40 runs. You guys, look. They still ain't put that zero up there next to the Cubs. What do you think they do up there on that scoreboard anyway? You ain't heard the stories? No. <laughs> what do you think he is, huh? You think he's up there putting up the score? How long have you been coming here, Jack? They got broads up there. Next is Mark McGuire! Oh! I actually am taking beers up there. There you go. Hey, uh, Decker, how about a uh, score bet for this inning, huh? Nah, it's too early. You never take those early score bets. You think St. Louis is going to score? McGuire is up. I'll give you uh, even money on 20 bucks. I'll take that bet. That's a good bet. I know it's a good bet. Watch! Marsh. 
Who do you think changed your last name? <laughs> you know who changed your last name? I think this guy's going to get on national television every night and say, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Peter Lacotte. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just get up there and say, Hi, it's me, Harry LaBalt. <laughs> oh, that's real funny. You're right, honey. That's not funny. Fuzzy Lanuts. Now that is funny. <laughs> oh, 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 it's making my game bet look pretty good right about now. Probably got to score five for you to win by three. Zach, the Cubs ain't playing right now. I was betting the way they was playing yesterday. You're not trying to get out of this bet, are you, Zim? Oh. Oh. Ah. All right, all right. All right, it's just number two right now. She's not going to pay more attention when St. Louis bets. Next player, Todd Stoudemire! Ooh. Zach, like the Cubs ain't playing right. Trying to this back? Is that what you're telling me? No, it is. You've been giving your money to Marvin for the last 20 minutes, and now you want to get out of our bet. That's what you're asking. Yeah, let's let's call it off. Forget it. Oh, forget it. My big buddy over here. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Zig, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You're up here making all. This oh, you ain't going to teach me nothing. Ain't nobody can teach me nothing. You're going to be here a long time to teach me anything. Oh, yeah. 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 Finally, your tires aside. So ask me one more time. But ask nicely. What is it you want? I want the Cubs to play right is what I want. Do you want this bet or not? Well, uh, let's call it off. Are you Ziggler? Anything. Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's a really dumb bet. You should have let him out of it. Oh, don't what you were betting on me, Ziggler. Don't you call me by my name. Don't you ever call me by my name when you're talking to me. Try to win some frosty moms, huh? Dad! Get one for yourself, too. Dad! Go! Go, go, go! Hey, Dave, what are you doing here? Are you letting this guy. What are you doing here? All right, keep it down, all right? Sammy Sosa! All right, Sammy, here we go, baby! Sammy, Sammy Sosa, starting off the bottom of the second. Hit one, Sammy! Come on, man. What are you doing? A guy makes a bet, you're supposed to hold him to it. Now, what's the matter? This isn't. Hey, we're gambling here! <laughs> this isn't Las Vegas. This is beautiful Wrigley Field, oh, right? Jesus! Yeah, Zig and I, we've been coming here for, for 20 years, betting together for 20 years now. I can let him out of a little bit if I want to. Oh, breaking my heart. Look, it sets a bad example. Christ! I mean, next time he's going to ask me to let him out of a bet. And then what does that do? I want to be a good guy, i got to let him out of a bet. You don't got to do nothing. Yeah, well, I just think it's bullshit. I just think it's high school bullshit. Just a $50 bet. Yeah, I know, I know, but it sets a bad tone. I mean, Christ, it's hard enough to make some money around here with these fickle and dying characters, and you gotta let guys out of bets? I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. So open up an off park betting service. Hey, listen. <laughs> the only reason I'm betting here with these assholes is because I can't lose. Otherwise, I'd be in the trap. Say, how about uh, you and me making a serious bet on this game here today, huh? You like the Cubs? Oh, you like the Cubs. Yeah, the two runs down. You still like them? Um, I'm going to lay you a price. You know, Marvin, I don't know. I've got a lot of money spread here on some games. I'm going to give you a price. I'm going to lay you a price on this game for a significant bet. Now, what do you say? It's just you and me. Just a little action. I'll lay you uh, 8 to 5 on this game on 100 bucks. Now, come on, what do you say? I don't know, Marvin. Make me a bet. You think you could take me. Make me a bet. Christ. All right, come on. I'll give you nine to five. Five hundred bucks. Come on, that's nine hundred bucks. That's my nine hundred against your five. But it's got to be right now, right now, in this game, right now. You know, Mark, they say gambling is a disease. What are you, a little old lady? I mean, when it reaches this terminal stage, it's got its signs. I mean, I see these little veins in your forehead. They're throbbing when you read me these odds. I see them up there. They're going 8 to 5, 9 to 5, 10 to 5. 
No, they got inoculations for things like that. Come on! <laughs> Just looking out for your health here, Mark. Hey, who gets a Frosty Malt? Give me a friggin' Frosty Malt. I like a Frosty Malt. Put a Frosty Malt in. Put it in his hand. In his hand. Dad, I'm gonna have one then. Right. Here. Get one for yourself now. Get that Frosty Malt guy. Hey, Frosty Malt! Go ahead, yeah, run! Go! Oh, here it comes! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Finally, it's so sort of fly out to the right. Next there, Henry Rodriguez! Hi, here we go, baby. Hey, uh, Mr. D, I don't have a spoon. Uh, here, use mine. What do you use? I'll use the lid. Here we go, Cubbies! Here we go! Here we go, Cubbies! Here we go, come back! Hey, go back to left field. Oh, right? what? Why, why do you think I keep all the way over here for? I came to help you guys help the Cubs win here. So, come on. Okay, you got a reach better. Who wants to say he reaches, huh? He's at the old time, Cubs. <laughs> that makes you feel this way. Hell, Dr. Power. Hey, we don't do this again. We're going to somewhere else. Power. Hey, Marvin, that's my seat. Hey, yeah. it's good enough for us, but it's good enough for the Cubs, too. Cubby Power! I can't hear. Huh? I can't hear Ron Santos. What do you want to listen to Pizza Man for, huh? What do you want to know? I know everything there is to know about the Cubs. Because almost every time I come to this park, the Cubs win. And I come almost every game. And that's why they ain't won a pen in 50 years. <laughs> What's the count? That's all I want to know. Hey, Marvin, that's my regular season. Yeah, yeah. Oh, guys, it's Henry Rodriguez. All right, it's two and two. Come on, Henry, right here, baby. Three. Two and three quarters. It's three. It's three or no bet. All right. 
Three to one on the sawbuck. You say St. Louis scores. Right. And I bet they don't. Right. And you got to lay the price. Remember, just to keep you honest, you got it. Oh, 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 oh. my day is made. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Take care of Clayton. It's like a sure thing to me. I'll take the same back. Richie, you ain't taking nothing. I got the money. Look. Hey. What's the matter with you? Hey. hey. You think you're ready for this big stuff, huh? You think you could uh, play with the big boys here, Richie? Hey, I can do this. Richie, I don't know. Hey. You're teaching him good, Dad. You're teaching him good. Kid knows what he's doing. Leave him alone. Yeah. Three to one. Sob. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for the shields. Two away. And Gaz up next. He stinks. Hey, Richie. How much is a saw? Uh, he knows what it is. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Hamilton has an earring. 
Hamilton has an urn? Yeah, it's on the other side. You can't see it. Richie, 
I'm sorry, I can't get involved in a bigger bet around here. Well, that's okay. At least you win. So, uh, Mr. Cup, pretty tough for you today, huh? You know what I mean? Pretty tragic. It comes down three to nothing. I think I smell a shut up. <laughs> it's still early yet, Marlin. Still early in this game? Wait, wait, you still think they're going to win this game? Oh, our Cubs are going to come through. I think this is the year. I think this is the year. Yeah. You know what's wrong with you guys? You have no confidence. Yeah. Okay, you know what I offered him? I offered him nine to five on five hundred dollars. He wouldn't take it. No, Mr. Cub. He wouldn't take the bet. Ah! Right. <laughs> you should strike this guy out every time. <laughs> Who is this? I would. Uh, I'd even go to eleven to five. Eleven to five? And he still wouldn't take it? Uh, Why not? It was okay when he took my money. You want to bet the cards eleven to five? He said, "You see all this money I got of yours in my pocket." I got it betting on the card. What do you mean, my money? <laughs> Come on, Decker, 11 to 5? Come on! Give me a bet on this game! Christ, I can't get any action! Have you ever seen any nickel diners like this? Yeah. Nickel and dimes! Alright, alright. All right. All right. Oh, He's a bum! He's a bum! He speaks well of you. <laughs> anyway, you know, you see, uh, it's not his money, he's betting. He makes a book for these uh, two dollar guys here and these two dollar guys there. It's not his money. That's why he's so cautious. He's got old ladies' money. Yeah, old ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go uh, thirteen to five. <laughs> Come on, thirteen to five. Thirteen to five? You'd have to be nuts enough to take that bet. You'd have to be some kind of uh, some kind of some kind of schmuck not to take it. Huh? Well, I'd take it if I had that kind of money. I bet you would, Richie. But he doesn't have the guts. Uh, <laughs> he probably can't cover it. Yeah, that's what it is. He'd have to run around all day, all around this city to get that kind of money. <laughs> you know those, uh, Cub fans. Marvin, I'll take your money, but your odds are wrong. What's wrong with the odds? What do you want? Oh, Even money on the long day. <coughs> Thousand bucks. You got it. All right. Let's go on. Three straight pitches, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Okay. Let's see a little yellow up there. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Now we go get a poly. Anybody want a poly or a hot dog? Hey, we can I get your poly. Oh, me? No, thank you. I have an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> How about you, sweet? Can I get you a hot dog? No, thanks. I hear the ones at the ballpark are real small. <laughs> hey, Ricky. Come here for a second. First batter for the Cubs, Lance Johnson! Ah, I don't know Lance Johnson. He's the best preacher man the Cubs got. He'd get on more if he took more walks. What do you know about the Cubs? I watch him on TV. So uh, you're doing a pretty good today, huh, Richie? Yeah. Good, good, good. You want a little more action? Sure. I've got a, uh, a sporting proposition for you. You like that, uh, that girl over there? She's quite a looker, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you, no, no, I'll bet five bucks that you can't get her phone number. Five dollars? I don't care how you do it, I don't care what you say. You're on.
No, I don't want no egg sandwich sandwich. When you come to the ballpark, you eat hot dogs. You don't eat egg sandwich sandwiches. All right, all right. I'm not even hungry. Hey, uh, Decker, get a load of this. I think that babe's got ice for Richie. You think she's got ice for Richie? <laughs> yeah. I think you need your eyes examined. <laughs> hey, Nick, here, look. I bet you he scores me. A score bet, huh? Yeah. I know love when I see him. You don't slap much, do you? <laughs> I'll give you five to one. <laughs> hey, Dad, what are you guys are betting on? I'm in for ten. Ten hard-earned dollars. Don't you worry about the hard-earned. I do the hard-earned. Hard-earned. <laughs> you don't even know what they're betting on. I got ten, Dad. Ten! Oh, no, I didn't mean it. All right, Mr. Coach, we're going to get in. We got to do something. Uh, 
at this guy again. They're going to win at this inning. Yeah, that's right. First there, Henry Rodriguez. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, Henry. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'll take these old Henry bars. All right. Stop <laughs> putting them under your head. We're going to do the whole run side. Not the whole run side. You go like this. I can get your number and I can give it to one of the casting 
directors. I know all those guys. French guys, guys named Hans. <laughs> I bet they paid uh, give them, uh, more money than the, uh, where do you work? The Baja Beach Club. You know, I have an uncle who's a manager over there. His name escapes me momentarily. <laughs> Very influential guy. I thought, I thought Playboy did their shoots in Los Angeles. Oh, no, um, they're actually building a new studio out in town, beyond the Scotia. Well, I guess that puts me out. My car's in real bad shape. Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 Nice Ooh. catch, Lance! I was worried there. That's my man! Excuse me. What's wrong with your car? It's the bumper. It rubs against the rubber. It smells funny. I just can't drive it. Oh, that's great! I, I do car repair on the side. No, really, it's like a hobby. You do? Yeah, sure. Well, how much would you charge for a job like that? Well, if you took it to the garage, you're looking at four to five hundred dollars. Well, I can do it for you for, say, ten or fifteen. <laughs> you, my mechanic said it would be like four hundred and fifty dollars, but you would do that for fifteen? Yeah, sure, sure. You would really do that? Yeah, five hundred dollars in my blood. Okay. Uh, so how about I get your uh, phone number, sure, and come over and have it up for you. Okay. My name is Melody King. That's pretty. And the number is nine. Yeah! 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 Lady, a fan's got to come to the ballpark as prepared as the players are. 
Hey, you gonna catch a cold, you bench jockey? I guess the bad news on Ron Santo on the radio. Well, so do I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read the Cards roster book. I read the Cubs roster book. I know every record in the National League. I read Baseball Digest. Hey, hey, you weak stick! Well, I can't imagine they list every player's dentist. Yeah, but I also know the lady who used to work for Dr. Bloom as a dental hygienist. Oh, 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 my God! Oh, 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 oh. Well, maybe he had his head up his ass, Rose. I know where it hit him. 
So the moose gets the ball and runs. Sandy Pasco, not Moose Morris. Well, you know what you're talking about. You want to bet on an herb? I'm not going to start betting with you. Give him four to one odds. <laughs> oh. Yeah! All right, all right. That's one. That brings up number. Hey, isn't this the guy that went to Zerk? Ray Langford.
Cubs are not going to score any more runs. <laughs> Let's go, Cardinals! Let's go! All the Cubbies! What do you think, Marv, huh? You think the Cubs are tired out there? You think they're old wrecks like you? No, I think they're old fat wrecks like you. The Cubs are going to score! There's runs in the air! All right, 100 bucks, 3 to 1, says they don't score. Herb? Come on. You say score, I say no score. No, I told you he's not interested. Come on, 100 bucks. I'll go for 10, Marvin. 75. 50. Oh. All right. All right. I have $50 that says the Cubs will not score. God damn it, Rose. Make a bet, 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 bet,
Rose. And all that money, you'll eat like a king tonight at the House of Sweet. <laughs> Let me see it, Herb. Let me count it. Thank you, Marvin. One hundred and fifty dollars. Three one and fifty. I have one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> we have one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, just let me hold it again. Oh, you put your purse or something. Put it away. Come on, I'm so sad! <laughs> Who's up? 
Langford. You got his number now. Oh, call one. Get up the strikes. That's okay, that's okay. He wants the people to get their money. We're getting our money's worth, right, Marv? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is that kid with the whistles? We could use him right about now. He had that Langford bug. That's right. Oh, 
oh, it's going to be a good day, a good day. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 69 revisited. <laughs> it's uh, 77 revisited. It's 84 in San Diego revisited. <laughs> it's 89 revisited. <laughs> hey, Decker, this isn't just a bad season. This is a bad century. <laughs> the mighty Cubs. <laughs> well, Ziggler, I am certainly happy that the little lady showed up today. If she had done that. I know, <laughs> I know. Look, Herb, here's what we went before, and here's what I brought with me to the park. Well, what's left of it anyway. I'm sorry. He's right. If I had known from my big mouth. <laughs> this little lady. This little lady right here, I wouldn't trade her for nothing. I wouldn't trade her for Lance Johnson out there. This little lady right here. <laughs> All right, Marvin, you know what? It was a pleasure spending the afternoon with you. What is that, two C's? <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> hey, you know what, Marvin? I got two champions. I got a championship team down in that field. I got my own little champ right here. <laughs> oh, Herb. Come on, we're going to the House of Sweden. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right, Herb. I'll stop by the jewel. I'll make cabbage rolls. Forget the jewels, forget the cabbage rolls. We got a winning thing here, you and me. We're celebrating. And besides, at least now I have to come home and tell you I dropped a couple hundred. <laughs> hey, Craig, have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Decker. <laughs> Why do you do it? Why do you do it? <laughs> These guys are springtime wonders. You know what's wrong with you? You bet with your heart, not your head. Anyone could see it. Nobody. Lost betting against the Cubs after the 4th of July. Right, Marvel. Hey, listen, I used to be just like you. But I got burned one time too many. They're fold-up artists. They're, they're heartbreakers. I'm surprised at you. I'm surprised at me, too. <laughs> it's a town of masochists. They like to see themselves get beat. It's a town full of losers. <coughs> losers, huh? Yeah, that's the way I'm betting. All right, Marvel. Here's your money. Keep going, keep going. Here, don't go spend it in one place. There's plenty of bets left to be had this season. <laughs> All right, Richie. Give it to me. 250 bucks. Cash on the line. And you don't got it. I don't have all of it with me. Don't you know better than to make a bet that you can't cover? Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be here tomorrow. But you are not. Because I don't want to see your dumb ass around this park ever again. And if I do, I'm going to kick it. Now get the hell out of here, because I'm not bullshit. And don't let me ever see you around this place again. Hey, Marvin, is my marker still good with you? But what is it? Is it good, yes or no? Yeah, I'll take your marker. What's that? Jack? Yeah, yeah. Right here. What's the problem? You said you'd keep it. Well, you gotta just be the big man, right? What big man? I mean, you're gonna cover his bet. It's an investment. I'm a businessman, Marvin. He's my scorekeeper. My lucky scorekeeper. Very important. Jesus, Decker. Nice meeting you, Miss King. Next time, they'll win one for you. Hey, Richie. Richie! Wait a minute. Look, I, uh, I got a little excited, huh? You know? I mean, uh, you're not supposed to make a bet when you don't have the money to cover it. You know what I mean? Gosh, you know, there's some other guys. You know, you go out in the real world. You get in trouble for this, you know. You still got the ball. 
You got the grand slam ball? Yeah. All right, here. Look, I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you a fifth. I'll give you. I'll give you a hundred dollars for that ball. I mean, that ball made me a lot of money today. So uh, I just want to show you. There's no uh, hard feet. Drive home, please drive carefully. Thank you and good night. 